Hey guys, so I'll be showing you how to convert ELF to CIA and to 3DS for Gateway. So this would be mostly command lines, but I made my own batch file to do that for you. So what you'll need is this ELF to CIA pack, which I'll have linked in the description as always. And then inside that you're going to find three files, um, an audio.wav file, a banner.png image, and an icon.png image. So you're going to edit these three files to whatever you want, and then once that's done, you're just going to do what I'm going to do. You're going to copy this, your homebrew.elf file. You're going to go inside the elf to CIA package, and we're going to paste it in here. And then we're going to rename this to homebrew.elf. So now you've pretty much got everything set up. You've got your audio. And then you've got your banner, and you've got your icon that are custom. So next you're going to edit this elf to CIA file. So on line 3 there's going to be a lot of stuff that you can edit. This is your game title. I already set mine because I was editing Doom by some other guy. So you can just rename this Doom. And then it's going to be the same thing over here. And then the, this is the author so L. Hobbs was the creator of it. So now I'm just going to do save. So now the batch file is done being edited. So next we have to edit this RSF file. You can open this in Notepad or Notepad++, which is what I'm going to be using. So on line 2, this is the title of your game. You need to edit this to the same thing as it was, so ours was Doom. And then this is the product code. It doesn't have to follow Nintendo standards, so you can change this to whatever you want. I'll just do CTRP Doom. And this you usually don't want to edit, so I'll just leave that. So, yeah, so far it's looking pretty good. Down here there's a bunch of like little settings that you can change. Like you can change the CPU speed for the new 3DS. You can just change a lot of this stuff. So yeah, I'm not going to be showing you, but those are some fun edits and stuff that you can do. So I'm just going to do file save. I just did that, so... Now we've pretty much got all of our files in place and are ready to go. So I'm going to run this elf to cia.bat.bat by double clicking on it. So now we'll just wait for this to get done. It should usually take about a minute to get done. And then a confirmation message should come up. It should say finished 3DS and CIA have been built. Press any key to continue. So now, what do you know? There's a rom.3ds and an install.cia file that appeared. So now you can copy this rom.3ds to your gateway, and you can install the CIA by putting on your SD card and using FBI, Big Blue Menu, any of that stuff to install it. So yeah, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment for more videos, and I'll see you next time.